Hi guys, this is Ratchet Thrall, and we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy, Case 44, a crime like no other. Let's select Seeds of Destruction number 2 and let's get back to our case about finding Fordax. Katria, leave aside all the cheese of your love lorn case, I say it's time to dig into what we came here to investigate. That's the same, Rosetta's ally, Fornax, who we know is in Springfields. Fornax has caused the current cold crisis by bribing a farmer to burn the fields. The year's harvest is gone. It's really tough, is Sverre Katria. My friends here are saying they don't know what to do. Corn is the main produce grown here and now the fields are barren. Speaking of, I'd like to visit some friends but my car broke down. Would it be okay for me to borrow your police car once your shift is over? Sure, Mia. And I wish we could say something comforting about the corn crisis. But we promise we'll do our best to find Fornax and bring them to justice. We know Fornax works for one of the two agriculture companies in the area. But how do we narrow it down? Inspector Katrina, I have an idea. We could ask Father Shepard. He hears about a lot of things in the parish. Maybe you could tell us something about the companies. That's not a bad suggestion, Mia. Okay, let's... Wait, Katrina, before you go, could I have a word? Sure, Rita. Katrina and Joyce can talk to you. And then we'll head over to have a word with Father Shepard. Yeah, I don't think the father will tell us anything because he's not supposed to say anything that, that a person confesses to. Let's go first have a chat with the priest, let's see. Let's try it. Let the word of the Lord wash over you, Ispera Katria, for you have done your duty. I pray this lost soul finds her way back to the flock. Uh, yeah. Anyway, father, what do you know about the two agriculture businesses, Agribidos and Green Foods? They provide work for a lot of people around here. I understand they abide by capitalist values more than by Christian ones. Such is often the way today. It's providential that you came to ask me about this company so soon after the CEO of one of them, Mr. Roland Tavin, contacted me. Oh, he did? What for? Mr. Roland Tavin has forgotten his briefcase here, and I said I'd return it. He forgot his briefcase? Don't trouble yourself, father. His friend Katria will look for it in the church and bring it back to Mr. Roland Tavin. Yeah. I think he's Fordax. He's definitely Fordax. Okay, let's now see what Rita wants. Katrina, as you know, today is Martine's birthday. Yeah, I know. And I was thinking, since she's French at all, maybe she likes some kind of cheese gift. More cheese? Why is there so much cheese in my life today? I mean, what exactly are you thinking of, Rita? I have a vision, Jones, but I'll need your help, Katria. See, I would like to give Martina cheese sculptured of the Eiffel Tower. Ooh, nice. I like it. I will give me the idea. He said he could sculpt it himself, but we need the perfect kind of cheese. Well, the one that won't melt and the one that is solid. There should be the right kind of young cheddar we can buy at the cheese making facility, Katrina. So, could you come with me? It looks like you're in good hands, Rita. I'll let you guys handle this expedition. And please, keep all that cheese far away from me. Yeah, you went through a nightmare about that cheese explosion. Well, I did also, but I'm fine. It was a bit funny. <laughs> Oh, I don't want that. I wanted to look for the briefcase. But alright, let's look for some cheese so we can build an Eiffel Tower. Not the actual Eiffel Tower that is big, 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 but some miniature. Okay, there's something in here. Look 
Tria, this block of cheese is the perfect size for my Eiffel Tower sculpture. But is it the right kind of cheese? If not, then a whole piece could fall apart before I have time to give it to Martine. Could I? It seems like this cheese is labeled. Let's retrieve the text. Okay. And now, let's go search the church for that briefcase. I can't wait to see what are we going to find inside. We got everything we need. Katrina, you found Fabian's briefcase. He has his initials on it. But told Father Shepard would bring the briefcase back to his owner. But we wouldn't be doing our job if we didn't search through it first. Yep, that's what we are going to do. Now, let's first look through the briefcase. Maybe it'll contain some kind of documents. Okay, folder. Core. Gotcha! Well, what you know? Fabian's briefcase had a huge file in it entitled Corn. We ought to wonder if it's about trying to solve the corn crisis or about causing it. Katria, let's send a file to Kathy to find out. Oh yeah, it could be that. Solving the crisis or causing it. One of those things. That's gonna take six hours. And now let's dust this cheese. Fine meal cheddar. Okay. Score! Katria, this is young cheddar. It's exactly what we need to make a cheese sculpture. Okay, let's send his cheese wheel to Amir for him to sculpt. He better not mess it up. Well, he knows what he's doing, then he won't mess it up. Okay, now we are leaving everything to Amir. And good luck making it. Let's first check out the core file. Does it say what I think it says? Or something else? Katria, the file you borrowed from the Green Food CEO was a very enlightening read. Was the stop the core crisis or was it to burn it? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm, I was just putting down the volume because it was too loud in my ears. It could taste a strategy for how to cause a corn shortage and benefit from it. Do it! So it's devils and green foods that's behind the crisis. Well, looks like it, though the file names no names. It's literally a list of actions to undertake, and it paints a dire picture. See, it had articles like Step 1, Elimination, with detailed explanations as to who to bribe to burn the farmer's lands and how to go about it. Then you have Step 2, Replacement Corn. Apparently there are some corn se seedling stored somewhere, hidden away until the time is right. Apparently they intend to sell the seedlings to the farmers for a reduced fee. Hold on, Katria. I'm no economist, but this why all the green food CEO had talks about first destroying existing corn, then supplying people with seedlings for their stock. Sounds like they're trying to create a monopoly on the product. Oh. And if Green Foods is behind this plan, then Fornax must be from there. We know it's Fornax who started the whole thing by arranging the burning of the fields. Gotcha. Katria, it's definitely time to confront the Green Foods CEO. Let him try to explain this away. 
I think he's four dax. He's got to be four dax. And I was right about green foods that they are responsible for this. Careful! Careful! Jasper, be careful! I'm here, I know. Just relax. Look at it! You guys did a great job, thank you. Who knew you possessed such talents? Well, Amir got us a cheese coffee course for my birthday one year, but I admit that I had forgotten a lot of it. Fortunately, I had lost my touch. It's perfect, thank you. Katria, let's bring this to our tea. Don't drop it on the way, guys. Okay, be careful, be careful, just like when you're just like when you're pinching somebody's phone. Okay, let's first have a chat with Fabian. Mr. Roland Town, we know the truth. We found your file on how to cause the corn crisis. We read all about how you plan to burn down the fields and then sell your own corn to farmers instead. I... What is better, Katerina? Uh, you must be talking about the contents of the file. We... We're legally acquired from Agri Meadows through industrial espionage. I don't I don't trust you. I think he's lying. Espionage aside, you're saying Agri Meadows made this plan? Yes, believe me, it wasn't us. All the fields we own, as well as our bars, burned down. It's a disaster. So if you knew about Agri Meadows planning the crisis, why didn't you go to the police? Why didn't you try to prevent it? But uh, we didn't know. Not until just earlier today when our spies, I mean our very illegal informants inside the fur got these documents to us. Inspector Katarina, I'm telling you the truth. I'll submit to an audit and provide you with all the files we got from Agri Meadows as proof. You do that, Mr. Roland Tavin. In the meantime, you'll have to pay a hefty fine for having concealed important information from us. I think he's lying. Katria, we need to check through all the files Mr. Roland Tavin provides. But it looks like he was telling the truth. No, I don't think he was. In which case, the real culprits behind the crisis are Agri Meadows. That's where Fornax is operating from. We need to reconvene with the others and update them on everything we've learned. Okay, I guess it, it is Agri Meadows. I don't know, he was... He was really nervous when talking to us. I thought... He's suspicious. Okay, let's go now talk to Martine. Rita, what's this about? You'll see. Okay, Katria. Are we ready? Yes! Quickly before we drop it. Tada! We made you a cheese sculpture for your birthday. Happy birthday, girl. Oh, mon dieu! Thank you, guys. How funny. Do you really like it? It was all Rita's idea. This is amazing. Funnily enough, I thought of doing something typically American for my birthday. But a taste of France is always great. Typically American? Hold on, Martina. I think I know exactly how to add a perfect splash for US country to the festivities. We'll need a cattle owner guy for the plan I have in mind, Katrina. But maybe we should first take a bite of this cheesy creation. And I'm gonna eat a burger instead of that. Back again is better, Katrina. First it comes too early, then too late. The fair is about to close. We're not here to buy cattle, Mr. PT. We got a colleague whose birthday it is today, and I thought of taking her to our rodeo. Oh, I see. You got the right man. I know the best rodeo in town. I even had tickets, but I lost them at the fair. You find them, you keep them. Thanks, Katria. Let's search the fair. Oh no, don't tell me we're gonna ride the rodeo. Well, it is fun when somebody drops. But, but it seems a bit dangerous because when you drop, you can drop on the ground and then you can be trampled by... I hope it's not going to be a bull. Ugh, where's fun in that if it's not a bull?
Oh, who chewed on those? Drop that now. Thank you. Katria, are you sure it was wise to drop the cow bit stack? What's that you took out of its mouth? Oh, you think these tour paper bits could be the rodeo tickets Joy mentioned? Well, only one way to know for sure. We gotta piece the back, to get back together. Be careful of cow saliva, though. I don't know what 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 cows can. What can you get from cows? Cow badness. If that's how you if that if that if is that how you call it in English. Okay, those are the tickets. Your hatch was right, Katria. These are the rodeo tickets Joey told us about. And there's three of them. That means you, Martine, and I can all go to the rodeo show together. Let's tell Martine. I hope she'll like it. If she asks about the cow saliva on the tickets, we'll say it adds authentic local flavor. <laughs> okay, okay. But I hate saliva as well. Okay, let's go talk to Martine. Okay, Martine, we heard your birthday wish. Are you ready for your American experience? We. Oui. What is it? It's a rodeo. Katia and I are taking you to a rodeo show. A rodeo? Where we get to watch strong sweetie? Where we get to watch strong sweetie men riding bulls? Come in. No time to lose. Let's go get the beat best seats. Katria, you and Martin will both want to change. I'm not riding uh, the ball. Okay. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Katria, this is so fun. Look at that. Oh, it looks tombe. There's a next rider. This is amazing! Rita, thank you for the best birthday evening I ever had. You and Katria are such good friends. Always happy to help. Now, I think I'll go check on the riders. I saw one that is just my type. Okay, you go. <laughs> Later the precinct. Katria, I heard you went to a rodeo show with Rita and Martin. You must have had a blast. Well, I was happy I wasn't riding one of them. <laughs> I'm glad to see that the tease bond goes beyond the professional realm. And we also did good work. Thanks to information we got from Green Foods, we know that it was Agri Beedos who burned the fields. Which means Fornax works for them. And it seems Fornax and so Agri Beedos got the monopoly on corn. As they prepared a stock they now plan to sell off. Clearly we must confront the company CEO about all of this. She can't be ignorant of these plans. Katria, it's time to go to the Agri Beedos headquarters and demand some answers. Yeah. And that's going to be in the next case. And I'll tell me she was killed. Okay, we are just gonna keep it for the next case. So, we're gonna start here. We're gonna continue playing in case number 45 in Springfields. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!